how do you find a, a contract printer? Like, what's the process for that? You know, do you vet them? Do you just take a risk? Like, where do you look, you know? Um, that's a good question. I would ask for referrals, right? Because, like, there's a million different screen print shops. I would say that, in my opinion, maybe 5 or 10% of screen, shop, screen print shops are good, or, like, to my standard. And not just, like, standard of what comes out of the dryer, but also, like, how they run their shop and then, like, their level of attention and detail to, like, the things that you're asking them. Like, there's shops that I, I mess with and like they always do the order input incorrectly. So you'll be like, it's literally like they'll put the customer's name in incorrectly, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, how do you, it's just copy and paste. Like, how do you fuck that up? But, um, you know, some, but the price is low enough to where I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll micromanage you to get it right. Um, how do you find, find a good print shop? Uh, I wouldn't just go and pick like any, any screen printer out of Yelp. That's probably like a horrible way to do it. And actually, most real contract printers aren't advertising. A lot of them don't even want to be listed on the, the main, like, Google, Yelp search engines, right? Because their job is to really be below the radar and just, you know, sell sell jobs to print brokers. I would ask for referrals from, like, so when I was looking for contract printers, I went and asked for referrals from all my vendors that I was currently working with. Now, if you don't have a print shop, that may not be helpful for you. But uh, guys, they're selling me supplies, right? Because they go to a lot of print shops. Guys, they're selling me blank t-shirts because they go to a lot of print shops. Consultants that I know, like uh, Marshall, sent me a bunch of print shops. So, you know, reach out to people in the industry and and then ask for referrals. I also got um, referrals from even equipment manufacturers when I was looking for digital squeegee shops. They, I said, I contacted the M&R rep. I said, hey, I'm looking for shops to have squeegees, digital squeegees. Let me know. And they send me somebody. So, you know. Shout out to um, Pete. Same day, tease. <laughs> Yeah, Pete, Sam Dates, Shauna Integrities in uh, Texas, and also um, this place in Utah that I just used. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> we'll throw those in the um, description, too, just so you can check those out. Yep. Um, you know, but, like, one is, like, um, so, like, one, get the referral, right, and the contact info. Two, contact them, you know. I would say go check out the shop if you can. Like, if you're within driving distance, like, 100 miles, go – Go have them give you a tour. So, like, I just did a tour in San Leandro of two different print shops. Very, very different print shops. One had seven autos, one had one auto. They both do contract work. One shop was uh, sort of like the way that I would run my shop. So, like, very organized from the time that the order hits the dock, how they receive it in, how it gets staged, the type of information that goes to the press, and then what happens when it comes back out. One shop was, like, not quite how I would run my shop. You know what I'm saying? And then also when I'm in their shop, I'm looking at like what kind of screens do you use? How does the print, how do the prints look? How, how clean is your shop? Like how organized are you guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, how does it run? Like, you know, and does it run to my standard? You know, like, um, and if it doesn't, like, it doesn't necessarily mean I wouldn't work with you. It just would color like how I might be the work that you might do. You know, you might send them a less important job or smaller jobs or something like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like maybe some, maybe they're not going to do certain things super good. I would, I would always say like, you know, and this is how it works: is you send them one small job, you see if it goes good. Send them another job, see if it goes good. You know, and everybody like, there's no standards in screen printing or DTG printing, so you know, everybody's going to work a little different. You got to see who works the way that you like to work and who produces good work. And unfortunately, you got to do a little trial and error. So it may seem like sort of a silly question, but it is called contract printing. So do you actually sign a contract with these guys? How does this work? Uh, no contracts. They no give contract. you a price sheet. A lot of dudes give you a price sheet. Some some places are moving to a model where they don't give you a price sheet. Um, they just quote everything. Uh, if they do it that way, they tend to be really responsive on the quotes. Like they have to be. So like a couple hours. Um, but you know, they give you a price sheet and you buy from them. You know, I, I think it's for me. It's better to be a big fish in a small pond or a medium pond than a small fish in a big pond. Um, I like to make sure that my account is going to be not. I don't have to be the biggest, but yeah. You want to have some leverage if, in case, like, you have an issue. You don't want to be, like, the one job at the shop that's running a thousand, a thousand jobs a week or whatever. Right. They're going to be like, you know, you have a problem. Sorry. Right. <laughs>